Okay, going in on a three minute game. It's a bit scary. Okay, so if it looks like they're offered a rematch, but just taking a moment because, as we've covered before, uh, looking at how to come out of tilt or lots of losses or different directions in where you're going with your game of, um, of chess uh, or any hobby or anything like that. So, key thing for me is. Um, it's looking at the rationale as to why you could potentially lose within chess and um, we did a recent video on about um, 40 reasons why you know you could probably lose in chess there's millions of other reasons as to why you can lose one of the key things for me in my recent um, battle and uh, through quite a few losses and stuff like that is actually looking at the reason why and for me I'm happy and comfortable that I know the reason why. I'm actually practicing some new ideas, some new concepts um, to really drive forward the enhancement of the answer process. So I know for me personally that when I'm practicing something new, I should expect there to be a little bit of a what's the word now training wheel type situation going on need the stabilizers on there so i'm going to rock and roll i'm going to fall off i'm going to have to get back on again i'm going to fall off i'm going to have to get back on again in order for it to sort of solidify as a process it's like learning how to drive a car or ride a bike or anything new um once you get used to it then it becomes second nature with these new concepts they're not second nature as yet so I'm still trying to throw them through there. I'm one of those that dares to basically try and keep pro progressing and improving my, my chess play. Uh, I'm not wanting to sit there and go, oh yeah, I've got the answer process now. I understand what the answer is for chess. So I understand why the, the good guys are always winning. So that's what I'm going to stick with. I'm going to stick with what has been winning for me. Um, no, what I want to do is I want to keep pushing the boundaries. Um, we got to a nice comfortable state where we could go down to the lower rated, lower rated areas and work our way through steadily up through to the higher rated, well, when you say higher, 1800, 1900s, even the 2000s, but that's about it online. Um, so we can go backwards and we can go forwards. We can go backwards and we can go forwards quite comfortably. 
So that to me shows like some type of um, strength in chess understanding, but I believe there's something missing. And I'm always thinking there's something missing because when I'm watching other players play, look at the higher rated players and look at how they play. And to me, it's all very simple stuff. It is the answer process. It's looking at those deeper um, ramifications in a super speedy game. I've looked at the higher rated players and how they deal with like the other players. And honestly, they come out with some sort of magical moves. But then when I look deeper, it's really quite simple. Yeah. Look at the higher rated player games that go on and genuinely have a look at how they move. And to me, they look very, they move very basic because chess really is a basic game at the end of the day. It's how you then maneuver your pieces to try and get some type of advantage in the game. And for me, in these moments of tilt, where I look and go, well, okay, I'm tilting for this reason. I know why I'm tilting at this moment in time, because it's a new product that I'm trying to put into my chess play. It's going to take a few tweaks here, a few tweaks there, depending on what the opponent does in the game. But I want to be able to do these concepts in every game that I do. But when you're doing something new, always got to expect that you're not going to do it 100% to the best of your ability because it's not going to be ingrained in you as you would like it to be at this moment. So that's what we're currently doing with these games. We're working on trying to improve a new concept. I won't say what the concept is because we've built a massive concept at the minute and we've trimmed it down. The simple direct moves to remove pieces from the board. Underneath all of that, we've got many ideas which have helped develop our game going through. And so basically working towards getting the answer process and the answer process is the overarching um, idea and concept underneath that you've got all sorts of things going on you've got the t-bot the tension blind spots overthinking and uh, you know rewriting your predictions to then avoid tunnel vision uh, and then to go in there and basically um, win the position and there's many more concepts within there as well and they do help drive forward improvements in the game but this new concept will take a while to put in um, there will be a few losses kicking in some ugly play some probably misplayed pieces but i'm trying to utilize a new concept okay let's take a look at this three minute game push through here trying to practice this new concept my secret concept <laughs> let's uh, just go here
like it. That was a bit funky. New concept seems to be sitting in a little bit, but it's got a long way to go, I think. Got about another three weeks for it to start embedding properly. So that was a nice, interesting game.